Page Media. You know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks. We got lots of stuff coming up. Yo, hello, hello. What's going on? It's Innis Libby. It's been a minute, so I'm back. Feeling good. The lungs are good. And uh, we are going to do this thing. So I'm going to be real brief because we got, uh, as you can see, at the bottom, if I go to, you look at the ticker, uh, join me live at five with Laurie Shaw. So this is only going to be about 30 minutes. So I'm just going to go over some of the things that are going on inside of the uh, cycling world right now. So the thing that's kicking off right now, that's hot right now, is uh, cyclocross. So I don't got any pictures to bring you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you the, like, who's leading what, the, the different... Uh, cyclocross it's not much but it's a lot at the same time so let's go to the screen table with the screen table we pull up what's going on so we're going to start off with the cyclocross calendar so if we have a look at the calendar I'm going to pull the calendar up so I can see it clearly and <clears throat> As you can see, there have been four races so far. There's been uh, the Super Prestige and that uh, Ronde 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 and uh, my goodness, Overhaste, uh, uh, Jamarket Cross, and RB Urban Cross. So those are the four that have been so far. So and that's the men, and in the men you got John Orsher, and then you got uh, Thibaut Nice winning the second one at Overhaste, uh, and then you have uh, Lawrence Schreck winning back to back. But Lawrence Schreck is not on top of the points only because he didn't do so good in some of the earlier races and he also missed out one as well so he missed out the the first race and then he uh he only got one point in the uh, second race 15 points in the uh third race and 15 so he won the last two so he got maximum points puts him up in eighth place now had he finished better in the other races then you know maybe he'd be up in the points so please let me know if you can hear me if you can't hear me, can you hear me? Can you hear me? So if you can hear me, let me know. Uh, and so we've got Lars Van Der Haar, who he hasn't won any races, but he's finished consistently, like second there, second there, fourth. And that's why he's leading the points. He's tied with Niels Van Der Poort on uh, 49 points. And Van Der Poort is also, but I did, I, did he just win a race? I thought he was, hmm, I, did, I thought he just won a race. But anyway, but anyway, Niels van der Poort is tied in second on 49 points as well. And Lars van der Haar is only ahead of him because of better position. And you got Michael van, van Hort uh, also hasn't won any races. And he's up in third place. Uh, these guys have just been consistent. Uh, Felipe Ortz, who got an, an amazing third place. So that third place is not showing. So I don't think this is showing me the correct. Uh, up, it's not, this is not updated. This is definitely not updated. Because uh, I believe if it's updated with the win that Niels van der Poort just had just recently. But that was a different race. So, sorry. That was a different series. So, you got Felipe Ortz and you got uh, Johan, Johan. And then you got Eli Izzabi, Tune Art, Lauren Schreck, uh, Thibaut Nice, and uh, Yante Michaels. And those are your top 10 in the uh, Super Prestige. Super Prestige, an amazing competition. And uh, so, I don't know what's going on with these advertisements. And then we go to the calendar. The calendar shows coming up this weekend. So you see all the races that happen. If you see over here, if it's got a flag and a name, that means that races uh, happen already. So then we have another series where exact cross. The exact cross will be this weekend uh, in our, our Kotrak. Uh, I've been to Kotrak many times. So that's where I was in Belgium last year. So Kotrak, so I can actually pronounce that. So it's like when you're in these places, like you have to keep saying the names over and over to you to you learn the names of Kotrak. So be a uh, good race. So looking forward to that one. And then what we didn't do was our uh, apologies to the ladies. Let's go back to the Super Prestige and we go to the elite women. Uh, can't be doing that. And if you can't be doing that, you can't be doing it. So uh, we got our Carmen's, uh, uh, is it Del Carmen? Is it Sailing Del Carmen Alvarado? Her name is Law. So, and uh, she's won three of the the uh, Super Prestige races. She won the first one, second, and third. And Alexander Brand won the over one in Overheist. And Overheist was more of a speedster type thing, more power, and definitely up to you know, definitely to the Alexander Brand. Uh, Brand. So you can see Alvarado will be winning three out of the four first races. 
is a lead uh, this in the standings of all because it is points competition that analysts of brand. So uh, Avaral was leading with uh, 57 points, Grand on 56. And so basically, one point nine because okay, because because uh, Alvarado had third place or third fourth place, she finished down and she was quite a few points. Um, she she didn't finish. Up, yeah, she finished fourth fourth in the second. Round, so had she finished a bit higher, she'd be able to probably. So then the brand really close, and he got Casola, um, amazing young talent. I think she's going to be amazing to watch in the future. And then you got Inga Van Heiden. Uh, she's uh, sorry about that. Come back, come back, come back. Sorry. This happens when you're in a place that's operated, that's operated by a mom. Uh, Timer light. Um, uh, Laura Vanderscrip, uh, she's on 33. Fan Van Apple's on 28. She's missed the last two races. Fan Van Apple had a really busy world season this year, so she's um, she's the reigning world champion, cyclocross world champion, and she pretty much won 11 races like last year, so she's just taking it easy this year. So she's probably looking forward to the world race, and she needs to, um, um, she needs to, uh, you know, can't go at it too much. Then you got uh, Leona Benfield. Uh, Anika Van Elfen, um, Marion Norbert Ribiroli, uh, Anna Marie Gorst, and that makes sure you're top 10 in the women's elite races. And I'm sorry, apologies for, you know, dropping over to the elite women, uh, me, skipping over the elite women like that. So what's the, the other big competitions? So we're going to look at the other competitions. Uh, Riders teams, what are you saying? So I was saying like this exact course this weekend, uh, then you had X, exact course this weekend, and then you have the X two O course. So it's just so many things going on that, um, yeah, it's like yeah, all all of the races that that's going on, and then you have the regular series, and then you got the World Cup series happening as well too. So you got the World Cup races happening. So like like I said, uh, the the first World Cup race will be if we go to uh, let's see, we go to class. Oh, countries. Oh, sorry about the computer. The computer's dying, people. So I gotta get the, the, the views up. I gotta get this thing going so I can uh, you know we need uh, okay here we go here we go. Um so you see I the super beach then you got the old trophy. Those are the, the three months ago. So let's go to the UCI races the World Cup races. The first race is this weekend is in Thorpe. Uh, as also basically you can have their cross on Saturday and then uh, to, uh, yeah on Sunday would be the first one crop race to enter. It would have been nice to be there. Uh, to enter is it's a really cool place, really yeah, amazing place. And and the next one is in Dublin. Uh, I went to Dublin last year. I don't know if I went to Dublin this year because I had to fly up there at the bar. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens uh, on the in January. So I don't know what's gonna happen in January, but things will really look like in January. So, uh, it's been like seven minutes, I want to be done with this because I got a couple topics. So this is the World Cup race, uh, as they go the, the, the Dublin and we're in Italy. Uh, that's like the snow course that you're in the snow. Then back to Belgium and more. Uh, then it to uh, the Netherlands for a host. I've uh, been to host really in uh, Zoheven. Zoheven in uh, that's a nice Belgian race. The next Belgian I go there. And two flats for uh, British Cone. And then back to Belgium and then the Monde. Uh, we write the Venom on a lot, Mr. Write the Venom on. Come on, computer, stop the noise. And the Venom, uh, Spain, where it's going to be obviously a nice change from the weather. The guys go from the snow in Italy down to, then uh, finding race number 10 in the nice warm. So it depends upon the Spain, but it's usually pretty warm. Then back to uh, Belgium for Mask Michelin. And then the last race in uh, Hogerheide. Uh, in the Netherlands, so that's that's your World Cup scene. That's the cycle course scene, and that's what the cycle course scene is looking like, and that's what we are going to. So, what's our next topic? The next topic is we are Ineos and Tom Pickock. So, there's been a lot of talk about Tom Pickock, and you know, like it, it sounds like people like there's a lot of disappointment, like you know, a lot of speculation. Can he be the rider that they, you know, to to bring Ineos in to uh, the future? And, and it's 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 a lot on that because he does everything. He's probably one of the best all-round cyclists out there. Uh, we're on the Eurosport website, and right now we're trying to find an article. So let's get an article on our Tom Pickock. Let's get Tom Pickock's. Where's the search bar for this one? 
Don't get cock. Don't die on me, Mr. Computer. Uh, Tom. Oh, there we go, Tom. Uh, come on. There we go. So there is other photos I was looking forward to pick up one to have to be injected. So that was pretty I was I don't know. I mean he had a, a, an up and down season. It was that MCL goal he won it was amazing to see him so go. If you can see that that photo of that, if you just go to uh go to my uh, go, go to the page and you'll click and see that and I see some of the results from the race as well. But uh he done he done really well to be in Amstel. That was a tough race he to spring to finish. And then it's, uh, so it's like it sounds like he's back into talks, and you know he's had a break. He's had a little, you know, a little time away from the sport. He's got to chill out with his dogs and his girlfriend and stuff in Spain somewhere. I know it was in Italy. Sorry, it was in Italy. And now Pickock's going to be. Uh, looks like he's going to be uh, trying to take on the cycling and uh, Ineos and bring Ineos into the pro. So, but it's. I see it as really tough. It's really difficult because he's a, he's a he's an all round cyclist, and then you're asking him to to uh, specifically tune in on to the Tour de France. And he's a mountain biker. He's a cyclocrosser, and now he's got to tune into time trialing, and it's it's a lot. It's a lot. So it it it, it requires. Come on, Mr. Computer, be nice to me. So it, it requires it requires a lot. So he's he's I think he's done really well. Uh, I think he's a rider that sort of like maybe maybe he probably do him a bit of good to do, if not no cyclocross anyway, just a little bit of cyclocross, rest up, recharge, and then get ready for the season actually. Because I think you know with what he done on Alpe d'Huez when they rode to the top of Alpe d'Huez, obviously he can climb, and he just needs to get you know it's just he's doing a lot, man. The young, it's a young man, and he needs to do it a lot, and he, you know it's a lot of pressure on him from everybody. So he's not just sponsored by Ineos, but he's a Red Bull. Uh, sponsored riders, so Red Bull sponsored riders are usually featured riders. So you know, yeah, he's he's got he's got a lot. He's a young man. Um, he uh, he speaks from he talks from the hip, which is pretty cool. So maybe one day I might get a chance to talk to him and sit down to him. So I do have some plans for next year. And hopefully, like things you know go to to plan for next year, and I can you know get things going for next year. So anyway, that's Tom Pickard. Just a little touch on touch brief touch on Tom Pickard, and then I think we have Pogacha. Yeah, we did have Pogacha. It's the most difficult to defend, but I just set sights on World Championship. Now, if you've seen the course for, I'm not going to bring it up, but if you've seen the course for the the uh, Rwanda, that is a beast of a course. So this year's course where he won, because it was a lot of climate, was, was tough. Yes, yes, that was in his favor. But the course in Rwanda, oh my goodness. Ice. So it's a really good chance. That as long as things go well, Pogi stays healthy and he's on the you know he's on the same trajectory, it's a good chance he will be able to defend his title at World Championships next year in Rwanda. Now the goal is for us to get to uh, Say with your legs Media to get to Rwanda and also be able to uh, you know bring you just whatever whatever I could get from Rwanda. So um, the thing is trying to get media accredited because it's a totally different thing. It's not the same. So we'll see if we could get to that point. So that's uh, Pogi. What else is going on? I want to go for yellow again. Uh, Kessonia, that's Kessonia Doma. Um, I actually have a picture with her. Uh, who's Kessonia Doma? She's a beautiful young lady. So she targets a second tour to France and France title. So I actually got to meet. And she's also targeting Milan to San Remo, which is also I was going to talk about later. Well, I can talk about it now, and uh, that's okay. So uh, Kessonia Doma. She is a really good all-around cyclist. I'm not even going to try to fake like I know a lot about her because I haven't been following the women's cycling like I should. Let me see if I can uh, pull up the picture of uh, Kessie uh, so I can uh, remember which file it's in. Desktop to bring you the... Yeah, she's a beautiful young lady. Let's like screen. Ignite. Uh... Ignite. So it must be on in eco cycling stuff. Uh, yeah, ruler. There we go. Ruler picks. And Izzy Dyken. 
artists Kenneth Money. Huh. There we go, Cassidy. So this is Cassidy Adoma. Gonna take the long to open. Come on. Come on, bad boy. You give me the wheels of it. Are you kidding me? There we go. So this is uh back behind ruler. Uh, uh basically uh I'm not gonna say it, but I was able to get sneak back to the back of there and uh and that was pretty cool and I got to meet Cassidy Adoma. And uh, yeah, so she's the winner of the, the female Tour de France, and hopefully, I sh I did I think I, I I probably did have an opportunity to uh, ask her some questions, but because I just sort of just felt the way I didn't really want to, you know, bother her, so I just asked her for a picture. It was polite, and then hopefully next time I see her or something or whatever, maybe she'll remember me, and maybe I can get a word or two in, and you know. And all that good stuff. So, but that's Cassie. You know, Doma, she's the winner of the the the, the Tour de Femme, and and she's up looking to go back and repeat. But and also the Milan San Remo. What's special about Milan San Remo? Let's pull up Milan San Remo. Uh, we are. Uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I must put, pull up. What's special about Milan San Remo? It is it is the longest uh, classic one day of of the men, men's pro. I don't think the women will be doing the, the, um, that distance as well. What's special about it is that it's the first, let me go back to this, what's first about it, it's the, it's going to be the inaugural race for the ladies. So this will be the first time the women will ever be riding the uh, Milan San Remo. And I'm, I'm like, you know, every time I'm just gonna make, gonna move heaven and now in order to make sure that I at the uh, Milan San Remo. So what's it on the screen? San Remo. Uh, 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 Remo. Let's press better. Oh. So bringing up football. Uh, so it's giving me results that I wanted to. Anyway, so that's that step. So we are 17 minutes in and we've got it. And so we've got a couple more topics. Um, let's see. We are on cycling in the Caribbean. Um, Cycling in the Caribbean, so it's going to be our last topic. Uh, we'll scroll this up really quickly. And we go to cycling stats. We are all of a sudden we're running slow now. I think we put the power on too. So it's probably why we're running slow. So at the spare bike working really hard. So, really quickly, if I pull up, uh, I'm going to just pull up a picture. Um, And if we close this bad boy, screensaver. And uh, I do have the, it's gonna come out. Oh, just came over a little. Oops, put that back. And we need to, leave the ladies there. So these are the ladies that won the under 23 race. Uh, and as you can see, Kiko took the medal, and I believe, I can't tell who that is. Oh, Dominique. So Dominique took second, took first place, sorry. And then you had two riders uh, winning the under 23. So that was the women's under 23. In the men's under 23, you had uh, the young man from Belize in third, the young man from Cuba in second, and then the winner. Uh, from Cuba in first. I do apologize for not having their names at the minute. And in the, that was the, and then in, in the men elite. All right, let me get rid of that. So let's get rid of that. And that. So in the men elite, you had, uh, I need to sort of get rid of the life for a second. 
so you can see. Sorry, I'll bring that back in a second. Um, copy. Where are you? Is it there? Copy of. So just really quickly so you can see what's going on. So this is your winners. So I was actually do, going to do a plan a whole show, but I didn't. So this is why I don't have everything. But this is the winners of the Vents uh, Elite Race. So you uh, in first place was Corey Williams from uh, Belize. He basically lives in California, writes, he writes, you know, pro, uh, semi-pro, but like pro in for a legion. He writes a team legion, but his, him and his brother, they have about four teams. So he, he, I think he writes for the Heat version of the team. So they have like a little series and everything. So they're doing really well. They're doing big things. Corey Williams and our Justin Williams. But this is your three uh, winners. So you have Corey Williams, your winner. Brighton Jordan was in second place. And our Diego Milan, uh, Mil Mil Milan from uh, Q no, Dominican Republic, sorry. And he was in third place. So that's your elite men. And I believe I do have the elite women here. I, I moved it. Elite women. And here they are. So the, the elite women. So I can put my ticker back up. Because I actually positioned it, I actually planned this one for the ticket. So, so this is your elite women. Uh, you have uh, Laurie Sharp, who's your winner. So as you can see, you join me live with uh, who I'm going to be talking to, Laurie Sharp, at, at five. So join me live, and we're going to be talking to Laurie Sharp. Uh, should be good. Should be a good conversation, and uh, looking forward to chopping this up and then. You know putting this putting this back out it should be cool so and then in second place was our uh, Demelin Perez from Cuba and in third place my home country where I'm from Bermuda and uh, her name is Flor uh, Esperanto is it Esperanto it's Esperanto so that uh, I don't know that Portuguese or Spanish I might be, could be Portuguese so that's the that's basically uh, everything for today. Uh, nice in and out. It's at any minute. That's cool. Um, and hopefully the audio recorded, and we should be back at five o'clock. So this is what to do is to give it a last run to make sure the audio recorded at a point, and we shall be back at five. And thank you for for joining us today. Media. You know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.